here's my little Joann's haul from yesterday. So I got these two fabrics for my ironing board cover. I love the mice from Cinderella. <laughs> I love that seed. And then cats, because why not? They've got little polka dot bellies. There's some stripes. I love the one with the glasses. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. And then I've also been wanting to try this Lion Brand Fisherman's Wool. I have heard Taylor over on the Wool Needles Hands podcast talking about this wool. And I was there. I don't get there very often. And... I'm excited to try it. I like the label. I like how it's a knitting needle and a crochet hook. So I'm excited about that. There's only like four colors of this available. So, and then there was some fabric. One of my girls loves Garfield and the other is obsessed with books. So <sighs> nothing like some last minute Christmas bags. <laughs> I even have more than this to make, but yeah. So that was a fun little, fun little shopping trip. I probably won't get these sewn up. I don't know when, but I'm desperately in need of a new ironing board cover. Mine get some pretty hard use, so. Wednesday. I can't believe that it is day 14 of Vlogmas. I am just finishing up down here in the sewing room and I've got a little <laughs> army of bags here behind me and I'm getting ready to go upstairs and get some dinner going. We're going to have this um, Swiss chicken mushroom bake mushroom Swiss chicken bake, <laughs> something like that. I don't know. But once it's in the oven, it's like 40, 50 minutes to cook. What do you think I'm going to do? <laughs> I'm going to knit. That's right. So yeah, feeling really good about having these done. Today, tonight is the last little bit of time for um, ordering for this year. I am going to be putting the shop um, on vacation. It's going to be closing for the rest of the calendar year. Um, I will open it back up on January 2nd is my plan right now. And yeah, so I hope you all got your orders in. If you were wanting a stolen minutes bag in 2022, um, these are some Christmas bags and a couple of non-Christmas bags there too. Uh, yeah, so it's been a good day. It's been a busy day. Um, the time is just flying by. I just cannot even believe it is the 14th of December. So I haven't wrapped a single gift. I think we're about done with uh, any gift buying that we need to do. I still have a couple of these gift knits that I want to get done. <sighs> And I have fallen behind on my advents. I don't know if I'm going to have a pair of socks on Christmas Day. We'll see. Do my best, but no worries if not. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go get dinner started. And I think we're probably going to watch some TV tonight. Last night we watched the Charlie Brown Christmas special. Of course, that is just a classic Christmas watch that we do every year in our house. Maybe we'll watch Garfield tonight. I don't know, but that one's a classic too. So have a good night. I will talk to you later. Bye. Good night.
happy Friday, December 16th of Vlogmas. Wow, I can't believe it's December 16th already. Amazing. Where has the month gone? So, yeah, I'm just sitting down. Everybody is gone for the day to school, work, and I am going to enjoy a bit of a day off. Yesterday, my mom came down and we finished up the last orders that had been placed. Thank you so much for all of your orders all of your Christmas orders. I hope that you love your bags. I can't wait to see what you guys are knitting and putting in your bags. Please tag us on Instagram, hashtag stolen minutes. You can tag us too at stolen minutes underscore. And I would love to share and see what you're making and what you're putting in your bags. I just, I love seeing that. It's so fun. So yeah, my mom came down yesterday. We finished up orders. I had, I had earmarked Thursday and Friday to get those all finished up and out the door. And we got them all done yesterday and off to the post office. So that frees up today, which feels really nice. I'm not going to lie. I don't think it's totally hit me yet, <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that is lovely. I think I'm going to take a little bit of time this morning to debate it on watching a holiday ish kind of movie that maybe my husband wouldn't really care to watch. Um, I really want to watch the holiday. I haven't watched that one yet. Um, and I know that he could honestly kind of care less about that movie. So uh, I think I might, I don't know, I might watch that or I might, I know there's some podcasts and vlogmases that I need to catch up on. Uh, so I might watch that. I'm thinking I'll probably watch those because I do have groceries to pick up, um, around the lunchtime. So I will be heading out to do that. And then when I get home, I'll have a little bit of time before everybody starts getting home from school. So um, I'll have a little bit of time after that. But I thought just for this morning, just for a couple of hours, I would just sit down with my advents that I have not been knitting on very much and just take a bit of time for myself. I'm not really good at doing that. I could definitely improve on that. Um, yeah, so, so let's talk Advents. Let's, let's see what progress I have or have not made. So I am knitting on my cozy knitter at the moment. Of course, I am mid-row. I am on the last stripe before the heel. So I do 11 stripes. And then I do the heel and the rest is my foot. Um, I wear a size 10 shoe. And so in years past, that's how I've done it. So I will do this cream color for the heel and I'll also do it for the toe. So this, so cozy knitter pair number one is I have the heel on the first one. And I, I still have to pick up the other side of my gusset on this sock. That's why it's kind of, it's really weird looking right now. And then the second sock of that one, like I said, is I, I have this much, this much left <laughs> till I start the heel on this one. So I probably should put that one down or I'm going to start knitting into that green and need to tink back. So, um, my other pair of cozy knitter is is not that far along. Both 
of them are, I believe this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. They are both at day eight. So I will be, I will be working on these and hopefully putting in a couple heels on these sometime today, this evening. So that is those. And my freckled whimsy. Also, I'm, oh my God. mailman oh, that caught me so off guard <laughs> okay wow okay Whew. it's not like I never hear that anyways um so my freckled whimsy I'm also doing two pairs of those and I am to these aren't even in the same place. So I am doing the same thing. I will get to day 11 and I will do the heel. So sock number one on this pair, I'm just ready to start day 11, which is that pale, pale blue. And this one is three, six, nine, day nine again. Um, yeah, the wheels all started to fall off around day nine, apparently. Uh, what would that have been last Friday? Yeah, that's pretty accurate. So this is where these are. Will I be able to put in, will I be able to catch up all these stripes and put in four heels today? No, no. But this weekend, hopefully. I'm loving, I'm loving how both of these Advent socks are knitting up, but I love how different they are. I love it. This one is nice and moody. I love, um, I love wearing these colors. This is more my palette to wear, but this is just so cheery and classic, I think, that I just, I love both of them. I love that they're so different because it feels like two, I mean, it is two entirely different projects, but it just, I love that they both have a different mood to them. So I'm excited to see the rest of these work up. And then my second pair of Freckled Whimsy, Honestly, they are still like down here at day two. The needles that I started them on, I'm just not loving the fabric that they're creating. They're not my usual sock needles, so I am I need to switch them out and I just haven't done it yet because I knew I when I sit down, I'm gonna wanna work on them for a while. So I just have one pair of the freckled whimsy. So that is what I, that is my advent progress. The other project that I have been working on is um, I, ha I need to sew down the pocket on the vest for my niece and then and weave in like the other half of the ends on the sweater and then that will be done. I will do that probably sometime this weekend and when I finish it, I will show it on here for sure. Um, I'm super excited for her to get that. I think she's going to love it. And I have a little bit of yarn left over and I'm trying to debate if I'm going to squeeze in one more thing for her or maybe make her kitty some kitty toys out of them. I don't know. We'll see what I end up doing. But my other project that I, has been getting a lot of attention because it's a Christmas gift and you have heard me talk about it a lot is the DK Musselberg that I'm working on. This is for my brother-in-law. I don't know that he, I doubt he watches these. Why would he? Um, <laughs> so this is a DK weight. This is a uh, Knit Pick Swish DK. I believe the color name is Dusk. And it's just this nice blueberry color. And I am five, five inches away from doing the decreases. So, um, I'm excited to work on that. So I, where is it? So I put, so I knew I measured it and I'm like, okay, I have five more inches. So I put a bulb marker on here and I'm going to knit for five more inches, roughly around 38 rounds. I, I counted how many rows were in five inches and it was around 38. So I might get to 35 rounds and measure. I'll be measuring too. That'll probably honestly be easier. 
Um, yeah, but this has been enjoyable. It, it's just been, it's so easy to sit down and pick up and, and just knit on if I'm, if I'm talking on the phone or especially at the end of the day when I'm tired and I, I don't want to look too much at my, my knitting. It's been nice for that. So, um, I opted to just keep my, my stitch markers in. That's my beginning of round, but I just decided to keep all of my, ooh, is it going to focus? I just decided to keep all of my stitch markers where they were in the knitting because when I start those decreases, I'll have to re put them in and it wasn't a big deal to just keep them in there. I, I usually have taken them out and I just was, I had knitted half of the hat and realized, oh, I never took those out. So I just left them in. Um, yeah, so I'm excited for this to be done. I really want to try it on because I'm just so curious about the fit of a DK and all of that jazz. So so I'm going to be working away on this. I might, I don't know. I might, I don't know what I'm going to knit on. I'm just so excited to be sitting down and knitting that I just want to work on all the projects. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. So this is random, but does, does anybody else not want to run the sweeper because your pets are sleeping? I need to run the sweeper so badly. My steps need swept. It's just ridiculous. But I, I, I just won't pull it out because the cats are sleeping. There's one over in the chair. There's one under the tree. There's two upstairs. No, I don't want to disturb them. So I do need to do that too, but... <laughs> Oh, I guess it's a convenient excuse too. It's not just the cats, but it's also just makes for a convenient excuse <laughs> to not do it. Mm. <sighs> yeah. So I, yeah, that's about it. We don't right now have any big plans for the weekend. I'm okay with that. Um, we may watch a Christmas movie or something at some point, but, but we, we don't all, we don't always go into our weekends with a ton of plans in place. So, yeah, so I think I'm going to go and catch up on some vlogmases. We'll see like 9 30. We'll see how long I can sit and and do that before I get antsy and need to get up and do something. <sighs> but yeah. Thank you for being patient with my with my lack of vlogmas keeping up. It's hard. It is hard. So I, I will get it up and yeah, I can't wait to share with you guys. So, um, yeah, so I'm going to go. I hope that you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope that you get lots of stolen minutes to knit and work on all of your projects. I hope that your gift knitting, if you're doing that, is coming along nicely. Yeah, I hope that you have a good day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.
boy. Are you enjoying the sun? There you are. Yeah. Are we going to knit for a little bit? Yeah. Okay. We'll knit. Yeah. He's a good boy. Well, come on. Okay. Let's knit. 